Vascular and endovascular surgery is a branch of medicine which treats the diseases of artery, vein and lymphatics. Arteries are the one which takes the good blood from the heart to the every other part of the body and veins are the one which takes the bad blood back to the heart to get it uh, purified and vascular and endovascular surgery is the specialty where it deals with or it treats the diseases of arteries, veins and lymphatics. Commonest uh, diseases which affects the vascular system are peripheral vascular occlusive diseases, aneurysmal diseases of the blood vessels and the commonest venous diseases are varicose veins and DVT. Commonest symptoms of these vascular diseases are pain and cramps in the leg, swelling or edema of the legs. Commonest symptoms of venous diseases are dilated and uh, tortuous blood vessels in the leg. They get swollen limbs, itching, discoloration, pigmentation or a non-healing ulcer in the leg which is very resistant to heal. So how do we diagnose this vascular uh, diseases? An examination by the vascular specialist will uh, clinch the diagnosis. So to treat these vascular diseases, we need to have a further imaging modality. Common modalities used are v arterial and uh, venous Doppler, peripheral angiograms, RNCT or MR angiograms of the limbs. How do we treat? Etiology for this is the lifestyle and the risk factor uh, management which causes this peripheral vascular occlusive diseases needs to be treated. So this forms the basis of the treatment. First is risk factor management. The smoking is the commonest etiology for the, all these vascular problems. So quitting smoking itself forms the 50% of the treatment or many a times the condition itself will uh, get cured. Other things are diabetes and hypertension which adds to the vascular diseases needs to be optimized. These are the patients will have long term diabetes and hypertension. So we need to have a adequate control of diabetes and hypertension. The other commonest cause for this vascular problem is hypercholesterolemia that is the because of the cholesterol increase in the cholesterol the blood vessels will get clogged by this atherosclerotic block so once the cholesterol is controlled with these medicines the automatically the blood vessel circulation will be improved next will be the lifestyle changes so obesity and uh, reduced activity are the one which causes calmness to aggravate these vascular problems so reducing weight itself uh, cures half of the uh, vascular problems and keeping yourself daily activity and eating a healthy nutritious balanced diet is forms the main form of the treatment so anyone who is diagnosed with the vascular problems need to be physically very active at least a five kilometer uh, walking daily will cure all the vascular problems the medicine which are commonly used are blood thinners or the antiplatelet agents these are ecosprin or the clopidogrel which makes your blood thin so it improves the circulation other medicine which commonly used are silastozole which increases the blood supply to the blood supply which increases the blood supply to the leg by forming alternative collateral uh, channel other commonest medicine what we use is the statin that is the medicine which to reduce the cholesterol so that the cholesterol which is accumulated in the blood vessel will shrink and improves the circulation. So the risk factor management, lifestyle changes and medicine forms the basic treatment for all vascular problems. If the disease gets, doesn't get cured or the symptom aggravates or the patient himself presents with advanced diseases, then they might end up in having some form of intervention either with medically minimally invasive endovascular procedure or an open surgical procedure. So endovascular is a minimally invasive procedure where we gain access to the vessel through a small needle or a hole inserted in that uh, over the wire and we open up the vessel by doing balloon angioplasty or in case sometimes a stent may be required to keep the vein open for longer duration. Similarly, aneurysmal disease of the blood vessel that is a ballooning of the blood vessel. So it keeps on ballooning which over a time ruptures and it can cause dreaded uh, bleeding. 
so in case such things also that aneurysmal diseases can be treated endovascularly by putting in covered stent graft so we bridge the uh, balloon with a stent graft system that is a covered stent graft system so that the natural lumen is restored and the risk rupture is reduced venous diseases which affect the commonest among the population is the varicose vein which is prevalent uh, worldwide about 30% of the population has got this varicose vein in among the 30% 1% of them will require some sort of treatment so all these varicose vein patients we treat initially with exercises massage medicine stockings even if after this medical treatment if it doesn't uh, get cured or if it progresses or it causes advanced diseases then endovascular treatment is the option for uh, varicose vein these are endovenous laser ablation and endovenous radi radio frequency ablation these are the two forms of uh, treatment where through a small needle a catheter that is the laser catheter or the laser fiber is passed and uh, this fiber uh, tracks wherever the varicose vein is there and it ablates by using thermal or uh, radio frequency energy so that the dilated vein will get collapsed and uh, the varicose vein subsides these two are minimally invasive procedures which are done under local anesthesia as a day care procedure so that the patient comes in the morning get the treatment done under local anesthesia and after 2 hours the patient can go back surgical options in case of advanced vascular uh, diseases or vascular trauma or an acute clot inside the blood vessel the surgical options are also available that is in case if it is not possible with in minimally invasive endovascular technique or a non surgical technique with medicine we might have to do a surgical procedure if the vessel is injured by trauma or an accident we might have to repair it inside the operation theater if the acute clot is formed we might have to take the clot physically and in case of long segment occlusive diseases surgical options are bypass the occlusive vessel we at apollo hospital have got a comprehensive vascular care facility where we have an hybrid hoti theater facility in which all complex vascular diseases are treated with ease and 100% success rate thank you